So we're moving on to Article 7. <laughs> Article 7. Shall the town change the name and purpose of the Ware Fire Department Replacement Vehicle Special Revenue Fund established by Warrant Article 41 of the 1999 town meeting to allow for the purchase of equipment in additional in addition to the existing purpose of purpose of purchasing vehicles the new name of the fund will be fire department equipment and vehicle special revenue fund this requires two-thirds of a vote i'm going to ask for uh, people to uh, be prepared to count those votes oh well that's good i don't need two-thirds from you people uh neil if you need a break I'll take over. thank you thank you I, I was thinking in those terms i'll move so, the article as written the article has been moved and it's been seconded as read comments i'd like to recognize the fire chief bob zena to speak on it if you wish Good afternoon, I guess. Uh, I can't add anything um, really other than uh, or in addition to what was expressed by the Finance Committee in their um, yellow sheet. Uh, I think that um, it's a tool um, that we could use in the future uh, to help fund some purchases. I think there's, um, and I would agree that there's sufficient checks and balances in place to uh, to prevent any mismanagement of that fund, and also we need approval from the voters um, to withdraw from that fund. And that's all I have. Lori? Finance Committee recommends this article. The level of funding allows the town to build a reserve for the purchase of major fire apparatus. The increase in annual ambulance reimbursements to the town allows flexibility to expand the use of this fund for equipment. This will reduce the tax impact for such purposes. The voters will still have to approve the warrant article withdrawal from the fund. Sufficient checks and balances are in place with the Board of Fire Wards, Capital Improvement Plan Committee, Board of Selectmen, and Finance Committee to ensure sufficient funds are kept in reserve for the purchase of major apparatus. And the Finance Committee would like to commend the Fire Department for the great work they have done coming forward in the past years of building this department up and being such great stewards of their finances and our equipment. Thank you. Dick? Uh, just asking for clarification on this article. It states in the article that uh, it, uh, in addition to the existing purpose of the of purchasing vehicles, um, the existing purpose of the uh, current uh, special revenue fund is for the replacement of vehicles. Yet when you read the name of the fund, the new name, it's the Fire Department Equipment and Vehicle Special Revenue Fund. So I'd like to have some clarification because when it says in addition to the existing purpose of the uh, existing fund, <laughs> the purpose of that fund is for replacement vehicles. You're changing it not only to uh, allow for the purchase of equipment, but you are now also changing it to allow for the purchase of additional vehicles. So it just, uh, it, in my mind, it's, it's not worded correctly. It, the existing purpose of the fund, of the existing fund, is for replacement. They're changing the, the title to include additional vehicles. I don't see that. Well, where it says the name of the fund will be the Fire Department Equipment and Vehicle Special Revenue Fund. The existing fund says replacement. So they're changing, the, they're changing not only the title, they're changing the purpose. The, the original purpose was to replace a vehicle. It's a way that we have to control the size of government. Um, and this is allowing 
uh, for the purchase of additional vehicles to the fleet. So I like, uh, to me, the, 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 uh, the, the two definitions, uh, they, 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 they don't agree with each other, the titles. And, uh, would you like somebody to address that? Pardon me? Would you like somebody to address that? I would. I'd like to offer, I, I don't want to offer an amendment because I'm 0 for 2. So I don't want to go 0 for 3. But it's kind of a friendly uh, request. It's a clarification. <laughs> Not that it's unfriendly. Let's, can I get the uh, May I clarification? May I comment on that? Yes. Uh, you're, you're correct. It does change the fund so that uh, it's not strictly replacement. And uh, so, for example, if sometime in the future uh, the town needed a third ambulance, that it would be, would be able to purchase it out of this without trading in a, an ambulance in its place. So that's, that's uh, you're absolutely right. This renaming of the fund does open that door. But as emphasized in the Finance Committee's response as well as in our discussions of this, this is a special revenue fund, which means that nothing can be spent out of it without the people voting on that. It has to be put on the warrant as an article for that pur purpose. It can't be spent like a capital reserve fund where that there's that the selectmen or whatever other body is designated could spend out of it. This must go before the voters. So there's that safeguard there, but you're right, it uh, is not strictly a replacement fund anymore according to the wording of this article. So can we change the article to reflect that? If you would like to amend the article. I was asking the board to amend it, but uh, I don't know, maybe they don't want to amend it. To allow for the purchase of equipment in addition to the existing purpose. The existing purpose, again, is replacement. So something needs to change. The purchase of equipment in addition to changing, uh, to allowing the, the purchase of additional vehicles. Is that? Huh? Uh, yeah, I didn't that, write it down, though. So. <clears throat> if you're amending the, art, uh, the article. I'm offering uh, an opportunity for the board to make the amendment. If not, I'll make the amendment. Would, would this be acceptable to allow the purchase of equipment uh, as well as the purchasing of vehicles? As long as you remove the word existing, because the existing purpose is okay. replacement. So I don't know, care how you do it. Okay, so that it would read Shall the town change the name and purpose of the Ware Fire Department Replacement Vehicle Special Revenue Fund, et cetera, to allow for the purchase of equipments in addition to the purpose of purchasing vehicles? So we just took out the word existing. Right. Okay? Yeah. Second. I'll second. It's been uh, seconded. I, the change is uh, in writing. We'll just, we just cross out that word. Basically, what we're doing is crossing out the word existing. Right. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Now we'll vote on that amendment. Did people want to discuss the amendment? Oh, well, we can discuss it. Anybody wish to just talk about it? Seeing none. Then we're going to vote on it. All those in favor of the amendment, removing the word existing, please raise your cards. All those opposed, please raise your cards. <laughs> the article has been uh, passed. Okay, moving on to Article 8. I'd like to address a another comment to this article before we go on. Okay. Um, I'd like the board to confirm that what I'm about to say is the effect of this article. Right now, if the fire department wants additional equipment, they'd put in a warrant article if it weren't in the operating budget, and we would see the tax impact. In the future, should this article pass and the fire department want to take money out of that fund and use it for equipment, 
that would be a special article or an article in the warrant, and we would see zero tax impact because the money is coming out of the fund. The effect of this means that the fund will be smaller in the future because we've spent the money on equipment and when it comes time to replace vehicles, we'll have to expend a larger amount of money than if we didn't make the change in this budget. Is, is that a fair statement of the effect of this warrant article? It, it could be, but that's not the intent. And again, I to go back to the fact that it's a special revenue fund, so everything taken out must be voted on by the voters. Uh, so, you know, the prudent management of the account by the fire department and by Board of Fire Wards and uh, the Board of Selectmen, uh, as far as what to bring forward, would, of course, be important here. So technically what you're saying, uh, Neil, is correct. Thank but, you. Uh, you know, that uh, it does remain in the voters' hands. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Steve Roberts, uh, 815 Concord Sage Road, and uh, I serve as chairman of the Board of Firewoods currently, and uh, we, with the chief and, and uh, with the finance committee and selectmen support, uh, put this forward, and it's part, it's to go along with our plan that we've been working on for years, we've evaluated what our equipment needs are and apparatus, and uh, so there may be changes to that. We actually dropped uh, a pumper truck from our fleet uh, a year or two ago um, that was no longer, in our opinion, uh, worth uh, keeping on the fleet and the maintenance and the cost of it. So the, we, we'd like to have the flexibility to be able to uh, work that plan and see what the needs of the town are. Um, also, equipment being the cost that it is, uh, like last year, we replaced the air packs for close to $100,000. That technically isn't a vehicle, but it's a very large expense. And uh, working with the CIP equipment and the fi uh, committee and the uh, finance committee and the selectmen to try and kind of even out some of those purchase and, and plan for long range, this will help us to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? Seeing none, this warrant article will appear on the ballot as amended. It has been uh, requested to restrict reconsideration. It's been seconded. All those in favor of restricting reconsideration? Thank you. All those opposed? Good. Article 8. I'm supposed to read this. Article 8, shall the town raise and appropriate the sum of $185,000 to be added to the previously established highway truck and equipment capital reserve fund. It is anticipated that these funds will be utilized for the purpose of replacing an existing plow truck with a new fully equipped 10 wheel plow truck. It is recommended by the board. John. I move the article is read. Thank you. Second. Would you like to speak to it? Yes, it's pretty self explanatory. The total cost of the vehicle will be $215,000. We are taking 30000 out of the existing truck and equipment fund, which drops the cost down to 185000 and it will be re used to replace one of the uh, 2004 trucks that we have that are uh, getting to the end of their lifespan. Lori? Thank you. The committee sees a continuing need to replace the town's plow truck fleet. Ten of the 13 dump trucks are 10 or more years old. This article will replace a 2002 six-wheeler with a 10-wheeler. The increased capacity will make winter plowing operations more efficient. The capital reserve fund has $30,000 in it to help offset the cost. Thank you. Those who wish to speak to the article, Frank. Uh, I have a curiosity question. Uh, hopefully it'll keep Benji awake. <laughs> and I certainly could ask him other than this meeting and get, a, get an answer. But it, uh, it seems like we're replacing six-wheel trucks 
with 10 wheel trucks and I understand the rationale behind that but is is this going to be an ongoing um, uh, way of doing things that we're going to end up with a total fleet of 10 wheel trucks that's my plan okay so we'll all do ten okay and and, uh, and 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 it is that's fine I appreciate that but with 10 wheel trucks and it probably wouldn't amount to a lot of money but there's certainly uh, uh, you know an increase in uh, maintenance and upkeep tires instead of a, instead of buying six wheels six tire uh, you know for a six wheel dump truck you, you now you're buying an extra set of four uh, I, I don't know what else uh, but there's got to be something more maintenance the exception of tires that's really the only thing I could think of that would be an addition. That's what we I'm have thinking. a lot right. fewer broken wheels and broken springs and things of that nature at the ten wheelers. And they're a shorter ten wheeler. I have two big ten wheelers. These are uh, really a very short ten wheeler, so we can still get around in our turnarounds. It just it holds enough more to make a difference when you're salting and sanding. And we've really noticed uh, a drastic difference in. The amount of broken springs and wheels you, you can virtually it's very hard to overload these little 10 wheelers they got little 12 foot bodies on them six wheelers overloaded almost empty so that's my reason for doing it i i've heard you mention that many times so i, I appreciate you telling everybody but i'm just concerned about the increase in maintenance cost with a full fleet of 10 wheelers thank Thanks. you other comments Tim Matheson, River Road. I cannot support this article because of what happened last year. We had a frontline truck that was a surplus unit. We paid $3,400 for, and we were, that turned into $215,000. Uh, I'd like to see the $30,000 go toward the backhoe. Okay, thank you. And uh, the other thing too was uh, the other minute, Benji mentioned other towns, uh, actually his own idea of replacing all 10 wheelers with six wheelers. Most municipalities are now plowing with six wheelers or Ford F550s, two and a half ton chassis vehicles. Uh, I don't think that previous statement reigned true. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, Dwayne Dupre, Mountain Road. I'm speaking on myself, not as a DPW worker. I drive this truck we're talking about. It is, to me, a health issue. The amount of CO I get throughout the night, plowing 20 hours. Watch. Uh, I do what I got to do for the because of the town. I don't mind doing it. I enjoy the job, I enjoy working here, and I enjoy working for the people. Some of these trucks were throwing good money after bad. Uh, trucks are down constantly, they need to be replaced. Um, I'm sure anybody that wanted to come down to the garage and look at some of them, more than welcome. I'm sure Benji wouldn't have an issue. You see exactly what you're going to replace. Uh, with that said, I don't think I can add anything else. If you got any questions, feel free to come down and take a look at them. You'll see what we're talking about. Thank, Thank you. you. Other comments? First time. First time. First time. George Bodet at Elaine. I currently work for a company that uh, sells replacement parts for fleet vehicles like this. Um, by actually voting for this, um, in my industry, we, we always go for used vehicles. We do a lot of part sales for used vehicles. By buying this vehicle, they won't put as many parts in these vehicles. They won't have any man hours in them. And the mechanic will be freed up for other repairs, other work. Um, so I can't, I, I can't go for this because my business elsewise would not profit from that. But thank you, Benji, for your work. <laughs> Thank you. Good clarification. Yes. Um, I got a comment on the maintenance name, issue. Name and Greg McDowell, Sugar Hill. Um, 
by doubling the capacity of the body or almost doubling the capacity in cubic yards of material that that truck will carry over a six-wheeler. If you're running 25 miles or 20 miles from one end of town to get to the shed and reload and back again, you've eliminated one trip. So that's going to eliminate tire wear. So it's not a big maintenance issue. The tires wear out, let's face it. A lot of that's the way it's driven. If you get stuck and you keep trying to dig and dig instead of getting a chain, then that's what happens. But capacity-wise, it's much more efficient to run a 10-wheeler, just on the volume of cubic, uh, cubic yards of material you can carry. Thank you. Other comments? Sure. This is a comment to the um, other towns not running 10-wheelers. They also have lots um, much more hired equipment than we do. We don't have any right at the moment. And one town in particular I can think of that run lots of 550s and six-wheelers is Bedford, and they're on a strict rotation. Not sure what that year is. I don't want to put false information. Five, six years is what I've heard. I got to try to spec a truck as heavy as possible because I'm going to have to run it until it doesn't run anymore, unfortunately. I really, my goal while I'm the director is to get us on an 11-year rotation, a new truck every 11 years. But I understand that when times get tough, um, it's hard for folks to support things like that because every so often, like this year, I'm going to also have to throw in a piece of equipment with that, like a backhoe, the next article. And I do have two fi uh, 450s, they're uh, 4,500 or Chevrolets, not Fords, but they do have two trucks that size. And they're nearly $60,000. For a cab and chassis, so just doubling that, I get a big truck. So, anyways, that's that's why I go with ten wheelers. The, the maintenance that my mechanics put into it is far less than the ten wheelers. The, the everyday broken items, wheels, springs, things like that. And uh, feel free to come down and look look at them. I have a 1999 Mac that is a ten wheeler, and uh, although it needs to be replaced here coming up soon, it's held up much better than. The, the six wheelers have so thank you other comments mr. moderator I have a question for Benji um, I'll speak to you oh okay Benji will these trucks be used on all town roads and I specifically I know you and I've talked about this before but on the, some of the dirt roads, um, when the trucks plow, they really nick the trees. And uh, at present, a couple of the trees are going to go down because they've nicked them so completely. Just wonder if a truck like this, let's say on Maplewald, as an example, will do the job and get it over with. Or will it not go on that road and maybe the driver will be more careful? They'll be able to go on any of the town roads, if, if I'm understanding you correctly. The trucks are all the same width. Six-wheelers, ten-wheelers, they're all the same. They're equipped okay. with an 11-foot head plow and an 11-foot wing. Uh, that doesn't mean they're covering 22 feet, but that's the, they're all the same width. It's just the length that's a little different. Okay. I don't well, know if, it, we uh, try not to damage things. It's, uh, it's, unfortunately, lots of these roads were put in in the 1700s, and we've, um, you and I can go on a drive again. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, this article, uh, yes. Move the question. Second. All those in favor of moving the question? Okay. Uh, this article, Article 8, will now appear on the ballot on the 13th of March, has read. It has been uh, asked for this article not to be reconsidered. It's been seconded. All those in favor of not reconsidering, thank you very much. All those opposed, uh, thank you. Moving on to Article 9. Shall the town raise an appropriate, the sum of mm, $95,320 to be added to the previously established Highway Truck and Equipment Capital Reserve Fund. It is anticipated that these funds will be utilized for the purpose of purchasing the backhoe that is currently being rented 
by the Public Works Department. Let's see, Mr. Hippler. No, John. I move the articles read. Thank you. Would you like to speak to it? You know, another one that's self-explanatory. Uh, the total cost is $127,768. We've been renting that backhoe for a period of time now, about a year, and the dealer is gonna credit us with 80% of our rental, which is $32,448 that he's taken off the price of this vehicle. That brings it down to the $95,320. And I can attest to tobacco that we now have because I used it for almost 15 years of its life. It is a piece of junk, period. It's not worth anything trade in. That's why Benji's gonna keep it at the transfer station for whatever life it's got left in it. And that's it. But it's unfit for the road. I mean, you just you just can't use it off the site. So, that's it. Thank you. Lori? <clears throat> Closer. Hello? Thanks, John. The Finance Committee recommends this article. The backhoe owned by the town is 18 years old and is not roadworthy. It is suitable only for crushing operations at the transfer station. The town rented a new backhoe to service road and culvert needs last year using road maintenance funds. This need is not going away. The town has an opportunity to purchase the rented unit at 80% of last year's rental fees being applied to the purchase. The committee supports this article as a more cost-effective means of meeting the town need. The other thing people should know is the warranty for this backhoe doesn't start until we purchase it, which is a really good deal. Thank you. Other comments? Seeing no one rushing to the microphone. Um, we're gonna put this article on the ballot. March. Seconded. It's been moved to uh, restrict reconsideration. It's been seconded. All those in favor of doing so? All those opposed? Moving on to Article 10. Wait a minute. Thank you. Article 10. Shall the town raise and appropriate the sum of 400 and $80,000 for the reconstruction and resurfacing of roads with up to $278,320 anticipated to be received from the state of New Hampshire highway, highway block grant pursuant to RSA 235 and the remaining balance to be raised by taxation and we're going to speak to that by Jack. Me. Move the question. Move the question is read. Thank you. And I'm going to defer this to Benji. This is an article that has been on the ballot every year that I can remember. We increase it a little bit every once in a while just to try to do a little more. But uh, as we all know, things go up, and we just keep going further and further behind. It, this money is thought of to, to rebuild your roads, and we do do about a mile, mile and a half of that a year. But out of that also comes uh, purchase all the culverts, uh, renting of this back, the tobacco, uh, crushing of the gravel that goes on your dirt roads, pretty much every maintenance item with the exception of winter maintenance um, that we do to your roads comes out of this 480,000 so it doesn't go 
too far. Hopefully all of you got that handout. Those are general numbers. Um, won't hold me to the penny, but uh, so you can see it doesn't go too far. And we've picked 480 because we feel that that's a palatable number that you folks might vote on. So what much else I can say about it, I guess uh, we're going to continue to build our mile, mile and a half road and hopefully do a little overlaying this year and all the other things that we do normally. Thank you. Lori? Again? Hmm. There's a little red button on the back of it, but I think it's um, the battery's gone. The Finance Committee supports the reoccurring article funding this maintenance and repair of the town's roads. State funding helps reduce the cost to taxpayers. Even with this level of funding, we continue to fall behind maintaining the roads. There was a handout today as you come in to register, and if what it says is true, we have over 105 miles of road, both gravel and paved. That's a lot of roads. And I think our highway department does an excellent job with it, but they need this money and it's important. Thank you. Others to speak to this? Frank? Frank, Camp Frank Campana, and I won't touch this. <clears throat> uh, I, the tax impact is 23 cents. Uh, there are two, two dollar amounts here, 480,000, 480,000 and 278 and some change. Uh, I think I remember how to figure out the tax impact and I did it for each of those numbers and I didn't come up with 23 cents for either of those numbers. Th this is not really a trick question but if somebody would like to respond to that. What, what, what is the 23 cents be based on? If it's, it's 480 minus the state money. Okay. What's the difference? We're I want to okay. use the microphone, please. The, 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 Can you hear me now? Yep. Let's go to Sprint. Um, if you take the 480 and you subtract the 278, 320 that's anticipated from the state, you come up with a sum of money. You divide the sum of money by the net assessed evaluation of $861,441, you get 23 cents. That's what I thought, so I just kind of wanted Okay. I'd like to offer, like to offer an amendment. An amendment? Thank you. As this is the second of a continuing effort. We're going to need to... Uh, have the microphone brought down to you? One bar, well, and we'll end the meeting. Great. This is, uh, this, this is a second of a continuing effort uh, to um, offer transparency, or to get transparency. So I'll be looking at the five members that at the five members in front of me uh, my amendment is um, uh, towards the last sentence uh, after pursuant to RSA 325 uh, the remaining balance of in the amendment two hundred and one thousand six hundred and eighty dollars to be raised by taxation I think it's pretty simple but I'm a, I'm a simple person, so me. <laughs> and and that uh, that amendment of the two hundred and one six eighty, that that is what the twenty three cents is. Okay, so the twenty three cents comes off of the number that you've just given us. Um, I, pretty sure. Okay, because <laughs> I I did that with. So the, the article will read with the amendment, <clears throat> uh, your amendment, has that been seconded? Or do I need to um, second that? Okay, the amendment has been re uh, read and seconded. <clears throat> the 
So it will read, shall the town raise and appropriate the sum of 480,000 for the reconstruction and surfacing of roads with up to 278,320 anticipated revenue from the state of New Hampshire highway block grant pursuant to RSA 235 with the remaining balance of 201 thousand six hundred and eighty dollars to be raised by taxation right Frank yeah all those uh, we need to have people speak to that all those in favor of having them do so never mind our uh, microphone has been stolen by the <laughs> so here I am uh, the problem with that it, is that the numbers change a little bit. That estimate we get from the state for their funds regularly comes in, not a, a lot differently, but s there is some difference either up or down as the year goes on. So it doesn't, uh, it, it's not gonna match up that way if we put that specific uh, second number in there. It's the remainder after the state funds and it could be a little bit different than that, but it's not going to be exactly on like the amendment implies. So, <clears throat> it depends upon the state funds that are granted? Yes. Okay. Frank? Yeah, that's an excellent point. Uh, however, you have committed to the 23 cents. <laughs> It's an estimated tax impact. Then likewise, uh, well, okay, if it's, if it's an estimated 23 cents and it comes as the amendment is $201,000 and some change, then the selectmen are committed to that. To that dollar It comes in a little bit less than the $480,000 is reflected on. So it would still, it would still be, I think it would still be the uh, 0.3 tax. Well, I think that would be fluctuating, but um, it, it's estimated to be 23 cents. And uh, with the adjustments, <clears throat> depending upon what the state grant is this year. Well, would you, would you entertain this? as an amendment, uh, you know, I don't want to go through an amendment to an amendment, uh, to include the word, uh, the remaining estimated balance, to insert the word estimated, um, of 201,000. Yeah. Okay. We'll insert the word estimating, estimated. Estimate, remaining estimated, remaining estimated balance. I mean, there has to be a relation between what the what the what the board is asking me to spend and what the tax impact is. Okay, so I have amended the amendment to read remaining estimated balance. Remember the yellow sticker on the refrigerator door. Yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, I don't intend to make it an amendment to an amendment, but I'm just going to make this amendment wholeheartedly. That's not the word, but um, this article will read, and the remaining balance, the remaining estimated balance of 201680 to be raised through taxation. Are we clear? Good. Oh, the article has been placed we're gonna vote on the amendment. Good idea. All those in favor of the amendment, say aye, or raise your cards, please. All those opposed? I think the ayes have it. Um, so that will be placed on the warrant. It has been moved to restrict reconsideration. It's been seconded. All those in favor of doing so, please raise your cards. Thank you.
All those opposed? Article 11. Shall the town raise and appropriate the sum of six six thousand three hundred dollars representing the cost of recruiting and hiring a part-time truck driver for the public works department this represents the wages of nine months 390 hours if approved this addition would become part of the annual budget moved oh thank you john I'm sorry? Oh. I move the article as read. Would you like to speak to it? I'll defer my comments to Benji. <laughs> so basically, the intent of this position is to put someone in my other 4,500 during snow events to, to take the full-time plow route away from my mechanic. Now, if he's not working on something, he will still be out there helping. But as it stands right now, he has a full-time plow route, uh, various small roads, and all of your safety buildings, uh, all your town buildings, um, for that matter. Uh, when a truck goes down, then he has to go fix it. Now I got two routes that are not getting done. And the last snowstorm that we had, I had four trucks down and he was working on them. So that was five routes that were not being tended to. I had, all the rest of the guys have to make up. And that's the intent of this. Uh, for some reason I had an easy winter and we were short-handed and I wanted him to come in to haul gravel or flag in the summer. I suppose we could, but the full intent is to leave enough, have enough hours uh, to give him a plow route. And this is only an average of 10 hours a week, which as we know, snowstorms usually 20, 30 hours long. So one snowstorm would suck up three, three weeks of his salary. So uh, it's, it's definitely not intended for an extra person year round. The Finance Committee recommends this article. It allows the Public Works Director flexibility during peak demand periods for truck operations. In winter, the truck mechanic currently has a designated plow road. With an aging fleet, he is often taken off his route to keep other trucks operational, making plowing less efficient. This would allow the part-time operator to cover a plow route while allowing the heavy equipment mechanic to focus on keeping the trucks on the road. Thank you. Other people wishing to speak? Frank? Well, uh, I, I would uh, like to know first off, uh, I, I think it's still in effect the, uh, uh, the full-time employees at the highway department, uh, they, they get a stipend of, uh, it used to be 360 bucks for uh, winter time, you know, for being on call. Is that still there, I think? I believe it's 300. Okay, yep. and, and I'm not questioning that at yep. all. Uh, does do, would they, even though this person is part time, uh, do, is that person going to be eligible for that? Being that you want him primarily in the winter time and on call. Of I hadn't thought of that to be honest with you. Okay, it never crossed my mind. Um, I don't know as that person will come in for every event. A little like last night, we went out salting probably wouldn't waste his hours to come in so um, right but, I, I guess I had never I never thought of it okay um, but but still he had and and you right and I, I agree you probably didn't but the people that are you know asking for this money they probably should have or could have um, um, but still um, could I could I get a sense of the board through the moderator that this person would be eligible for an on-call bonus Of course. Okay. okay. So that's not, well, wouldn't be that, considered at this point? Okay, at this point. And my other question to Benji, uh, and, and not accusingly, Benji, I'm not going to get into that. 
<laughs> like I did once before. <laughs> I misspoke. But um, what would be your anticipation for this person to go full time? None. Okay. All right. Uh, I'd like to offer an amendment. Okay. What would that be, Frank? Uh, that I, would be. I need it in writing. I have it right here. Good. I haven't failed you yet. Good. I just. Did, I didn't see your little slip of paper. Thank you. I'm a few hours older now. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Uh, again, at the end, at the end of the uh, article, after annual budget, with the estimated sum increase to eighty-four hundred dollars for a full twelve month, with the estimated sum increase to eighty-four hundred dollars for a full twelve months. Because, well, I, I don't. I, I, did, I did the. I'm sorry. I don't see the the uh, pertinence well, to this article. His, pardon me. I don't see the pertinence to this article. Well, Benji, Benji had stated that he might come in for a flagger. Uh, you, you know, during the summertime. He's got here so, uh, 390 hours. 390 hours. Okay. All right. But how do we know? How do we know? How do I know that the 390 hours is only for nine months and not stretched and not? 39 the, weeks. That's 10 hours. 39 weeks. Of Ten dollars. Ten hours. Ten hours a week. 39 weeks from April 1st. April 1st. Yes. For December is 39 weeks. Yes. Ten hours a week. Okay. It's okay. So, if, but if this person gets if this person gets approved. And we start next January. It's not going. It's not going to be. And he comes in and works January and February. Uh, I mean, what, what's the limiting factor here? Three hundred and ninety hours or nine months? I think it's three hundred and ninety hours. Okay. Okay. Clarification. Okay. Uh, I'll. Let me get a clarification and we'll... That's, a, that's okay. That's okay. I don't want it to get too complicated, I guess. You, shall I withdraw the... Yeah, withdraw that. We'll just see how it appears in the budget, I guess, which will be too late then. Okay, the amendment has been withdrawn. Yes, sir. So if we go back... Chuck Metcalf, General Stark Highway. If we go back to Article 6, it basically says that the dollar value that's presented in the article represents six months' worth of funding. And we all agreed that the following year, that was going to be more, a little bit more than doubled as a dollar value to get to 12 months. So then if we take a look at the way this article is written, it talks about that it represents wages for nine months. It's not clear to me that in the following year, if it gets increased by what it would take to come up to a full 12 months or is it capped at the th nine months of 390 hours? Because if you follow the way we did Article 6, you could see the logic that next year this is going to be increased from that value. Right. And, and that's I, what I'd like clarification as to where I think, Ben, you spoke to this as that was not his intent to increase this to a full-time employee. Yeah, but 10 hours a week at 12 months is still not a full-time employee. Right, I know what you're saying. Yeah. You. Uh, with, I guess without seeing how many, it is a possibility asking next year for 12 months times the 10 hours if this isn't sufficient. It really being my first time with a part-timer, I'll, I'll have to see. <laughs> and I guess my question is not so much whether you would come back next year and ask for it, but if it becomes, if it's automatic the way article, the other articles kind of automatically go up. So maybe my question through the moderator to the board is, is that the intent or is the intent capping it at 390 hours until the, the voting body changes that? I think that's my understanding that this year it would be um, nine months, 390 hours. And next year if it became necessary to request a full 
12 month position at 10 hours a week, then it would be for next year's deliberative session. Sir. Del Rice, uh, Pine Hill Road. Couldn't we just strike the part about the nine months and put down 390 hours per year? Wouldn't that solve it? That way he can utilize them summer, winter, whatever he wants, but he's got 390s per year, uh, 390 hours per year. Would you like to make that amendment? Uh, yeah, I guess I have to write it up though, right? Maybe get some help. <laughs> Mr. Moderator. Mr. Moderator. Oh, I'm sorry, Helene. Um, while we're waiting for this to happen, I yes. wonder if I could just um, <clears throat> say something about hazardous waste because, and it's in the same realm of highway. Um, normally, we have. I'm interested to see how you do this. Well, Bring I'm this just to trying to fill topic. time here. <laughs> okay. But at the same time, um, just educate the public. Um, we used to have a, a separate article for hazardous waste, and I noticed there was none, so I did some looking back. People need to know we still have hazardous waste happening, right, Benji? It's in the budget at $7,000. So it still will be, and Benji will give us plenty of notice when that's going to happen. Great. Thanks for bringing it to our attention. I, I, I think they're coming along. Yes. David Erickson, Poor Farm Road. I wanted to ask Benji, would this save any money on overtime for, from the other drivers? I don't know how overtime works. I doubt it. Uh, just would make it so wouldn't have routes that got left unattended for such a long period of time. Right now, as it stands, if we're all running, everything's working like clockwork, it averages three hours per route. So if it's snowing two inches an hour and your road was the first one, it's going to have six inches before we get back around. Um, so to answer your question, no. I, I don't think anybody else will go home any earlier. It just hopefully will help relieve seven, eight hours between the time you see us each time on certain routes. Um, I don't want to be, you know, I, I want to be able to have these hours 12 months a year because you know, as we know, it can snow six of those months, and and if I got in a jam in the summer, I could use that person. So I just want to make sure I'm not the best person in the room with wording, but I want to make sure we don't word it as uh, my hands are tied at the time of year I can use him. Thank you. How are we doing on that amendment? The amendment will read um, approval. If approved, this addition will be part of the annual budget. This represents the wages for 390 hours per week. Year. I like the I like the week though. Think about the person who gets 390 hours per week, um, or a figure of 2,334 dollars per year. Okay, I will read the whole thing. Okay, shall the town raise and appropriate the sum of 6,300 dollars? representing the cost of recruiting and hiring a part-time truck driver for the Public Works Department. This represents the wages for $390, uh, 390 hours. Um, if approved, this uh, addition would become part of the annual budget. If I may, that, that's the only scrap paper that I had, so there are figures on there that 
don't pertain to this? That's why I am having a hard time. I'm going to blame that faux pas on Frank, um, whether he deserves it or not. Okay, so we are doing this. This represents the wages for 390 hours, period. Okay, point of order. Oh, you wish to speak to it. Okay. Do we? Check one, two. Uh, that's not working. That's not working. I think from what our DPW director just said that that amendment doesn't meet what he really wants from this. And maybe we should go back to the amendment that uh, Mr. Campana offered because uh, this amount that is for nine months, 390 hours, would be just what it says for current year, 39 weeks. But we just heard the DPW director say that he really would want this person available for 12 months. So I think that we need an amendment that would uh, be closer to what the original one was if we want to add that. I think even as it stands, it doesn't need to be re-voted on because it says this is a nine-month amount for X number of dollars. Uh, and so the assumption is, as with other articles similar to this, that next year it would be a different amount for 12 months. But if we wanted to have that in there, then we're going to have to put it in, something to the effect of the 12-month cost or 520 hours would be $8,400. I think, uh, am I correct? That's what you're looking for. Yeah. So we do need to, I, I really would speak against the amendment as it comes because it's not really what he's asking for. And it's closer to what uh, Frank said earlier as far as uh, what's being asked for. Is that clarifying? Does everybody understand that? Because I didn't get it. Uh, Mr. Moderator, is, is it the uh, Public Works' intention to have this ongoing position on a full year basis at $8,400, or is it the purpose of this to have it ongoing at a full year basis of $6,300? First one, <laughs> yes, eighty-four hundred for full year. Thank you. Then, then perhaps uh, the amendment should keep it as it reads, but add at the very end, if approved, this addition would become part of the annual budget at eight thousand four hundred dollars. Thank you, Neil. So, this amendment needs to be withdrawn before you can consider that amendment. Okay. okay. So, Frank, I need, in order to do that, I need to have... Frank. Frank didn't make this amendment. Someone else did. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, where is the... Oh. Um, what's his name? Del. Bill? Del. Bell. Del. I'm sorry. Dell. Could you uh, come forward so I could speak to you with the mics? I believe your amendment needs to be withdrawn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you want to give this back to Frank? It's the only piece of paper he's got. <laughs> so that amendment has been withdrawn. Um, Neil, you have an amendment? <clears throat> I'd need to get it in writing, please. I'm sorry to be a stickler, but my mind is going to pass these on to the town clerk, and the town clerk is going to look at me and say, what did you do? Frank? Is uh, Mr. Kirk's amendment duplicating my amendment? It sounds like it is. Yes. It sounds uh, similar, certainly. 
Then could I ask you to ask Mr. Kirk if he would just accept my amendment? Okay. Then, then we'll still have to deal with two. I didn't expect it to be that complicated, so I apologize to everybody that's here. Really. So your amendment, let's going back to that, the annual budget, but, with the estimated sum increase to eight eighty four hundred dollars for a full twelve months. Neil, is that uh, okay? I'm going to strike the word withdrawn and put reinstated. So we will be working from Frank's original amendment, which will read, shall the town raise and appropriate the sum of $6,300 representing the cost of recruiting and hiring a part-time truck driver for the public works department. This represents wages for nine months, 390 hours. If approved, this addition would become part of the annual budget with an estimated sum increase to 8,400 for a full 12 months. Okay, I think I got it. Is that... Uh, uh, the, that's the amendment, Frank? Okay, good. Uh, all those... Uh, I'll second. I need a second. Good, I've got a second. All those in favor of the amendment to the article, please raise your cards. Thank you very much. All those opposed? Okay. Um, John, I, I hear a hum in this uh, that's distracting me. Okay, um, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, so we're voting on the, we voted on the amendment. We voted on the amendment, it is, unless there's somebody who has new information that needs to be included in this discussion. Uh, not, not a new, not new, inf new information, but I'd like to thank Chairman Call for the input. Okay, uh, so the article as amended will be placed on the ballot. It has been moved to restrict, it has been seconded. All those in favor of restricting this article, thank you very much. All those opposed? Okay, we're moving on to Article 12. Shall the town raise an appropriate sum of 105000 dollars to be added to the previously established bridge reconstruction capital reserve fund for the purpose of erecting, repairing, or replacing bridges. Jan has moved. It is seconded. Seconded. Thank you. Jan, you're going to speak to it? Yes, I am. Thank you. There are three bridges in town that are in need of major repair. River Road, Law Road, and Francis Town Road, and these are also red listed by the state of New Hampshire. The $105,000 will be added to the Bridge Reconstruction Capital Reserve Fund to be put toward the town's 20% portion of the overall cost. The Finance Committee recommends this article. Three of the town's bridges are in need of major repair. They are River Road Bridge, Lull, and Francis Town Road culverts. A state grant will cover 80% of the cost, but the town must have the other 20% set aside or the state money will go to projects in other towns. Thank you. The town's cost share for these projects is expected to be 400000 This will be the second of four years funding for these projects. Thank you. Those wishing to speak to this article? Seeing none, I'm going to place it on the uh, ballot as read and spoken to. It has been moved to reconsider. It has been seconded. All those in favor of to restrict reconsideration? All those opposed? Thank you. Article 12, now we're getting into speed. 